One of the most common food plot fails that we see and we've, we've done in the past ourselves is putting too much seed on the ground for the surface area of the plot. So making sure you measure and know the exact acreage that you're planting is huge. Also the amount of seed you're putting down. If the seed is too tight, those, those plants are pulling nutrients away from each other. They can't grow to maximum maturity, maximum nutrition for the deer as the end goal. One of the first steps in mapping out the proper size of your food plots is using an accurate mapping system like Onyx. We plug our plot sizes in on the front end so we know those rough sizes, but it's also great to put boots on the ground like we've done here in the background. Um, we measure it out, and a general ballpark for a quarter acre system is about 60 yards by 20 yards. So that's what you see here behind us. In this example here behind me, you know a lot of people you look at a food plot like this and you think, well, wow, that's probably a half acre, that's a big plot. In reality, it's a quarter acre. So there, you know, you come through, you get your half acre of seed, you're putting it down on a quarter acre plot, you're doubling up your seed rate and you're crowding all the plants. The end result is not a very good food plot. So really understanding the size before, measuring, boots on the ground, and really having a more accurate measurement on the front end is gonna to result to a more successful food plot in the end. And a lot of the strategies we have with the Illusion Food Plot systems is really that micro food plot, you know, those in-close encounters and shot opportunities with mature bucks. Um, but everything we do is measured around a quarter acre, whether it's seed, fertilizer, and we're trying to maximize that space. And from seed blend to seed blend, whether it's, you know, brassica mix like Primetime or Easy Greens Clover Chicory Blend, you know, those are smaller seeds and bigger seeds, so you really gotta understand your, your spread rate. And that's why we go through the process of testing spreaders and making sure that we're accurate with all of our broadcasting throughout the fall. And another key point about broadcasting seed is not all seeds or blends are created equal. So we're doing some testing today using the Easy Green system, which is clover and chicory. Those are smaller seeds than our primetime mix, for example, which have brassicas and some radishes in there, which are larger. So really understanding your spreader as well and testing that out first, you know, making sure you're on the lowest setting. You know, we'd always rather walk twice and have even coverage and walk once and run out of seed early. And one tactic we like to use when food plots become larger than quarter acre is actually using different systems that transition deer from early season food to the late season food. And if your food plot is larger than a quarter acre, it's always a great idea to just use these systems as building blocks. For instance, if you have an easy greens mix right next to a prime time mix, that's 11 different types of plants that those deer can browse on and, and choose the ones that they prefer throughout the year. Which again, everything we're doing here is about maximizing the food source, the attraction, and giving you more success in the field. So we've got two quarter acre plots right behind us. We're gonna plant easy greens in both plots. The only difference is gonna be the setting of the spreader. All right, so Chris just got done spreading this quarter acre and we are doing a quick walk through and just seeing where the distribution of these seeds lie on the soil bed. And we're anywhere between like three quarters of an inch to an inch between each seed, which is perfect. This clover field will flush up really nice evenly throughout the entire field. We got a really good, accurate idea of what the feed rate needs to be on this seeder. Now we're gonna go over to plot two, another quarter acre, turn the uh, seed spreader open a little bit and see what the distribution is on that. So we opened up the spreader a little bit more, added about 20% to the feed rate, and did this quarter acre in the Easy Greens blend. We did end up coming up, I would say anywhere between 20 to 30 yards short on the last pass. So we know that this is too big on this seed spreader. One thing you'll notice on this pass is these seeds are, I mean, a quarter inch to a half inch apart a piece. This is gonna be a really dense clover and chicory field. Nothing wrong with that, but there isn't enough for this quarter acre to cover the entire area. In summary, what we learned here was it's very important to measure your food plots first. Make sure you have that accurate space calculated before you're broadcasting your seed. Also, the setting on your spreader has a big impact on how your seed is going to be dispersed across that plot. Setting number one in this case worked out perfect. We had just a little bit of seed left over. We made one quick pass and it had great dispersion of seed. Setting number two was slightly too big, so we ran out of seed with 30 or 40 yards left 
of our broadcasting. For more advanced strategies and tactics, follow along with the Groundwork series at the Deer Society YouTube channel, the free Deer Society app, or at any of the Deer Society social media channels.